What's the deal, y'all? This your man King Eric, the media assassin, coming at y'all with another video. So subscribe at the like button for me. So apparently, Diddy, Swiss Beats, Ti, Timberland, and a few others are backing Kanye West against his fight with Adidas. And I'm gonna get my thoughts about it in a minute. So it says here, Diddy and Swiss Beats aren't letting Ye stand alone. Days after the Don the Two rapper producer add out fashion design company Adidas for allegedly copy his Yeezy design, Swiss and Diddy, whose real name is Sean Combs, came to Ye's defense on Instagram. On Monday, Swiss called for Adidas boycott on Instagram with a post of a fake black and orange Yeezys with a red X drawn through them. Swiss woke in the caption, I usually mind my business, but this is dead wrong. If we let them do this to Kanye West, it will happen to us also. This man created his groundbreaking innovation and it should be respected as a creator. He added, Ye, Ye is only asking his work to be respected and not stolen. That's not crazy to me. We not buying all this, this Adidas. You're supposed to be original. Do the correct thing, please. So then you also had other people chiming in, and you also had, in a separate Instagram post, Cone shared a text screenshot between him and Ye, vowing to never wear Adidas again if the company didn't reconcile with the 21-time 21 21 Grammy Award winner. Since the era of Run DMC, Adidas has always used hip-hop to build its brand and make billions off our culture, Combs, Combs wrote in a caption. But we are more than just consumers now. We're the owners. Kanye West and Yeezy are the reason Adidas is irrelevant to culture. We know our value. I'm done wearing Adidas until we make this right. We had to support each other. Okay, man. I'm going to get my thoughts about this. Sway told you 10 years ago, dude, about how it's going to be when it came to building your own infrastructure. Y'all still want acceptance with these companies, man. You mean to tell me all these niggas got billions of dollars and y'all still begging for acceptance. Y'all still making these brands hot and they don't care about y'all. And now y'all talk this culture language. And this also shows to me that you guys are not in tune with what people are going through right now. We don't give a damn about Yeezy and his fight with Adidas. We don't give a damn about this Hollywood shit. There's people right now in Mississippi that need water. There's inflation going on throughout this country. There's crime running rampant throughout this country. Where are y'all niggas at now? We don't give a damn about Kanye and his shoe problems. That nigga signed off on that. That's his cross to bear. Y'all rap, y'all, y'all felt funny to me. Y'all sit there and talk this culture talk. And yet, you party in the Hamptons with the same culture vultures. Y'all, uh, y'all have lost so much in tune with the people, it's sad. Because nobody, nobody for the most part really give a damn about Kanye and his problems. He's a billionaire. He's going through rich nigga problems. People are worrying about where they're going to get their, their rent paid. People are worried about how the, how the rent going to be this next month. How they going to eat? How they going to feed their kids? Nobody giving a damn about this. And this goes to show you how out of touch hip-hop today is. And now you're trying to winder us into this boycott Adidas. We don't give a damn about this. Y'all need to take y'all black asses to Mississippi and make something happen. Y'all need to t go in y'all backyards and fix these communities and these infrastructures. This puzzles me that we sitting there arguing over shoes. Now, granted, Kanye deserved to be compensated. He created the shoe, but that's his problem. Y'all focus on the wrong stuff. Come to the hood and fix these problems in the in the in these projects. Hip hop has lost their way, man. <laughs> and the gatekeepers, the so-called gatekeepers today, they lost in tune with what the people are going through. People are dying out here. 
The stricken in poverty out here. And the best thing y'all niggas is outraged over some damn shoes. Come on, man. Come on. Unbelievable. Like, this is what y'all choose to get outraged over and not your own people out there struggling and starving? Man, fuck that shoe. <laughs> That's all I got to say about that, man. Like, y'all don't lost so much in tune. It's the same way where when these white people kick them in the ass, they want to come crying to us poor folk. Or us regular folk, or the or, or, or us regular blue blue collar folk, to help them out, and use our resources, and then we build them back up, and then they'll go ahead and cash out and sell it again. Never, never, come out here and help the poor people out here, man. Challenge these politicians that's bullying our people out of these neighborhoods through gentrification. Challenge these politicians. These governors, these mayors, on so we can get clean water at least. Challenge them about these rent, the rent protection programs that's been expired since last year that's kicking people out of their homes. Use your voice for something different, man. Fuck shoes. Fuck Adidas. Fuck Kanye. That's how I, that's how I passionately feel about it. So anybody that want to come in here and talk that stand talk, I'm not trying to hear it, man. There's too much going on in this world for us to focus on shoes. And I'm disappointed that we use our voices for so much of the meaningless things. And, I, and I'm speaking from the heart here. So let me know what you guys think. I'm going to chime in more on this Sunday with Remedy. Holla.